just getting the International Gateway. Love coming in this way. Nice view of World Showcase. Wow, look how packed it is down there. Wow. So the first stop of the Food and Wine Festival is okay. France. Brian is going to get the croissant with escargot. Um, there's nothing here that I can eat due to gluten, so um, I will just be watching him eat. Alright, so the first item that we got for the food festival is Brian got some escargot and a croissant. So he's going to try it and let us know how it is. Him in there. Good. It's really tasty. All right, next stop is Brazil. I am actually getting two things. They have two gluten free things here um, the layered meat pie and the crispy pork belly. So I'm getting both. You get anything? I think so. Okay. All right, so this is from Brazil. I got the crispy pork belly, which to me is not look good, but I keep hearing rave reviews about it, so we'll find out. And then I got the layered meat pie with uh, yuca or yucca. I don't know how you say that. Sorry, sorry I'm saying that wrong probably. Um, so anyway, I'm looking forward to these. They're both gluten-free. Okay, so I finished the two things from Brazil, and as you can tell, the meat pie was great because it's gone, but I took one bite. Oh, I took one bite of that and just couldn't do it. <laughs> just not not my cup of tea. Italy's not very crowded. Well, there's no stands no back stands here. back here to draw the people in. I'm really glad to see that the train is back out. See the little food and wine festival signs, very cute. So we stopped at the Brewer's Collection, and Brian's going to get one of the beer flights, or I guess the only beer flight. Alright, so here's a look at his beer flight. Which one are you going to try first? Number one. The Rattenberger. The Rico Prisoner. You like it? Yeah, it's pretty good. Purchase special Epic Bison. Alright, so let us know how that is. There you go. You guys can here. Wow, banana explosion. Banana explosion? <laughs> right here and now, banana explosion. Wow. Okay, now. Well, Fakta Progusta IPA. I'll show you the card again because we don't know how to speak German. Tastes like IPA. Is it good? Bitter. It's all right. It's not as bitter as. as uh, so there's how to say IPAs. it. Good luck with that. There we go. All right, this is the Schaffer Hoffer Zitron Bison Mix. All right. There was one in. There was one in Norway. There was tomatoes in. Not good. Wow. It's like. Uh, Lemon, really strong fake tasting lemon. Really strong fake tasting lemon. Oh, that's nasty. All right, so Brian's wrapping up his beer flight, so we're heading over to La Cava, and we might stop somewhere along the way. You never know. The breeze feels good. So it's funny. We were in Germany, and there was no lines, and now we're in Korea, and there's this huge line. It's like, like who knew South Korea was so popular? Well, What's funny though is it feels like all the people are concentrated on the sides, but then when you get to the very back of the park, there's not that many people. It's kind of funny. Is that because everyone starts at the front and they just haven't made their way around yet? Oh. Here we are in Mexico, gonna head to La Cava de Tequila. Line doesn't look too bad. So we got a table at La Cava and we're back in the corner. 
It's really dark back here. I've never sat this far back before. And um, we're just stopping in for a drink and then heading back to the food line to sleep. But this is a nice air conditioned break. It's getting kind of warm out. It feels good. All right, so we just took an air conditioned break at La Cava de Tequila. And Brian got to watch me drink. Was yeah. that a good time? Good time. <laughs> So we're heading now to um, maybe the Mexico food and wine. Depends on how long the line is. If the line's really long, maybe not. So we're stopping in Mexico, and I'm getting the first one, and I don't know how to pronounce it, so sorry about that. But um, that's what we're getting next. All right, so here's the tip. We're in Mexico, and it has lines on both sides. There's absolutely no one on that side. We walked right up, and there's a big line over here. So it's kind of a lot more crowded, as you can see right down there. And so we're heading into this craft beer area. Um, see, Alan from the Tiki Talk, they took your craft beer idea. Um, sadly, it's not permanent, but they do have a craft beer station now. So we're going to pop in here and see if we can find a table to sit at because it's getting so crowded out. I think it's standing tables. I, that's fine. Anywhere to put my food down is fine. Okay, we're inside the craft beer area and it's kind of strange lighting in here. It reminds me of a nightclub. I mean, it's a little brighter than a nightclub, but not by a lot. And I'm going to eat the item that I got in Mexico. I would highly recommend the dish in Mexico. It's the first item on the menu. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's something con polio. And it's really, really good. Um, so far, it's the best thing I've had. So this is, they got two flights in here. This is number, number two. And this is the Three Daughters St. Pete Beach Blondel. Good. So here's a look at the beer flight. Okay, so Brian's gonna try number two at the craft beer station um, beer flight. So this is the Florida Beer Company Passport 20 Belgian style triple L. It's a, quite a mouthful there. Yeah, it is. Longest name ever. Ashy. Ashy? Yeah, it's really ashy. Ew. It's all right. It's all right. I wouldn't get that again. No, wouldn't get it again. Okay. So moving to the dark ones. So this is the Funky Buddha Vanilla Espresso Porter. So that's gonna be nothing but coffee right there. Nothing but coffee. Well, that's like coffee. <laughs> not good. No, I don't, I'm not a coffee drinker, so. Okay, what's the name of this one? All right, this is the Shipyard Bourbon Barrel Age. Ooh, that's not gonna be good for me. I don't like this. Imperial Stout. I don't like the bourbon barrel. Uh, yeah, nope. Don't like it? <laughs> Actually, the coffee one's better than that one. Wow. For me, anyway. We're going to head into Mouse Gears on the way out so I can pick up some caramel popcorn for our room since we're not staying at a Disney resort. There's no lobby, no lobby to go to to get that. Or, That's uh, right. Gift shop, yep, no gift shop. All right, so here's all the popcorn. Caramel, chocolate, caramel, weird colors, and cheddar cheese. So here's the backside of Spaceship Earth when we're heading out for the day. It's kind so of like the backside of water. <laughs> yes, exactly. The eighth wonder of the world. We're heading out for the day. It's kind of early, but we're going to go to the Disney World. Um, what's it called? Anyways, character outlet. Yeah, Disney World outlet. I don't know what the actual name of it is. We're heading there because it's actually pretty close to where we're staying off site, and I've never been there before, so I'm pretty excited about that. I think there's anything up there. See those mirrors? It's probably. You know, I'm sure you're... there's something there. Oh, I see lights actually inside. Looks like. Oh, I do too. Pretty cool. Uh, secret. <laughs> you probably have a party in there for a fee. Anything. A big fee, yeah, fee. for a fee. Here we are under Spaceship Earth. We're heading out back to the Disney outlet for today. We got the food and wine stuff coming up here. Thank you for celebrating food and wine 20th anniversary. It's pretty cool looking.
I think the little mascot guys are weird. Yeah, they are kind of strange. Okay, we're going to check out the Disney Character Warehouse. Here's some Rose and Crown Pub Irish coffee mugs for $3.99. <laughs> it's a cool appetizer. Brian says no. What's the name of all right, so we finished our excursion to the outlet, and sure. we bought one thing. And I actually did want this thing. It's a fifty-dollar Mickey and Minnie on the sleigh and Pluto, and we got it for twenty bucks. So $20. I guess that was a good deal. But I was disappointed because I had seen a post that they had the Adventureland glasses and they the track. Some Adventureland stuff there. They did have Adventureland Place. stuff there. Yeah, yeah. But not what I was looking for, so that was a bit of a bummer. But I guess it's still worth a trip to look, maybe? Yeah, I mean, the store is kind of small. It is small. Like... So we're back to our resort at the Marriott um, Grand Vista, and we're going to call it a night. And tomorrow we're moving to the Beach Club and probably heading back to Epcot. So thanks for joining us, and if you enjoy our videos, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye. Adios.